What's up? Putty Sports Gamer here. It's that time of the year again. Best time of the year. It's March Madness. And the purpose of this video is to highlight the difference between college basketball and the NBA. In my opinion, college basketball is so much more exciting. This March Madness tournament is so much better than the NBA playoffs, and I will tell you why. In the NBA, you go to a game, the excitement is not there. Yes, the arena is mostly full, but it's mostly full of corporate people. The like corporations buy the tickets because they're so expensive. So you don't get the excitement. You don't get the fanfare as you would on the college basketball level. Yes, college basketball ticket prices are going up and up and up. And pretty soon they're going to be more like NBA tickets. But the big difference is the students. The students are so much more excited for their team. They're so much louder. They cheer. They jump up and down. They're boisterous the whole time they're at the game. In the NBA, in the NBA, you see they have to hire someone to get the crowd going. You have to have this noise meter on the, the scoreboard pumping up the crowd, making the noise meter go up and up, and maybe the crowd will go louder and louder. But once that noise meter is gone, the crowd goes back. Yes, there used to be instances where the NBA crowds were loud, like Golden State used to be. They used to be pretty loud back in the old arena but you just don't see that excitement as you would in the college basketball and this tournament is the best sporting event i think among all sports do you agree with me a close second is hockey playoffs. Hockey playoffs is unbelievable too. I love hockey playoffs. But I think March Madness is the best. As far as excitement goes and the loudness of the arena, the lighting effects, it's just all awesome. Second and most importantly is the players. In the NBA, yes, the seasons are three to four times longer, but you never ever see a college player have to rest. They want to be there out there the whole time. They don't need to rest like 10 minutes in the, into the game or in the second half you see them resting the only time they really rest college players is if they get in foul trouble yes there's injuries in nba and college so that means they're out but for the most part the college players are in there every single game they want to be there and nba players need their rest they need to take days off they can't play back-to-back -back games and in my opinion they're much lazier than a college player and some people point out oh college players are a lot younger the nba players i don't buy that because you're in no matter you're 20 or 30 you're still in peak shape peak performance so that shouldn't matter i feel like nba players sh should be playing the whole game they used to play the whole mo most of the game back in the day but not anymore so you see the fan excitement you see the college basketball players trying the hardest you see the effort out there you don't see this effort in the nba the nba defense is horrible you see no effort or hardly any effort in the nba but college they're all over the place they dive on the floor they put in all ton of effort and they want to win yes the college games and the schedule is much more important because you need to win every single game to get into the tournament and a higher seed in the tournament nba the, the season probably doesn't matter as much as long as you just get into the playoffs Yes, it's, it's great to have home court the whole time around. But as you can see from these highlights, the excitement, like the buzzer beaters excitement. They got players jumping all over each other. Your coaches getting excited. It's so much better, the NBA. College basketball is so much better. And third, and, and I know they don't have it in March Madness, but college arenas are smaller and they pack them in there and it's much more louder than NBA. And another thing with the college game is so much better is the creativity on offense. They, they run plays on offense. On defense, you can play a multitude of defenses. Zone, man, press. You just don't see that in the NBA. Yeah, NBA has adopted a, a sort of hybrid zone, but it's mostly man. I don't know why they don't allow zone in the NBA. Maybe they think it's make it more less exciting or something or less probably make it always happens in the pro game they make it easier in the pro game than in college game you see that in football and you see that in basketball but i wish they would adopt like zone defenses and presses and nba probably because the the nba players don't want to put the effort into it as they do in college there's a lot more creativity in the plays in the nba is just like pick and roll and isolation mostly college you have to actually run plays get people open for like three pointers and all all that stuff because the defense is a lot tighter in college than the nba so this is just a short video explaining in my view why college basketball is so much better than the nba and that i don't like watching the nba 
at all but i love watching college basketball so let me know what you guys think do you think the college is better than the nba do you think i made all the points associated with that or you think my points are not as valid and you're like nba and college the same please subscribe like and comment thanks see ya